Hello everybody, Mark here at 100% Pure Alvis. Thank you for taking the time out to return to my channel. And if you are new to the 100% Pure Alvis channel, welcome aboard and thank you for joining. And if you haven't as yet subscribed to my channel, if you enjoyed this upload, please hit that subscribe button and welcome to the 100% Pure Alvis family. Now, today I'm going to talk about Alvis Presley's UK number one hit singles. And I'm taking them from the box set, Alvis number ones. Again, I just love the style of this box set. On the bottom here, you can see this far, every single one of Alvis Presley's UK number one hit singles. And some of them reached the summit more than once. But again, I'm going to go through this box set individually, go through each they are CD singles, and I'm just going to share with you how long they stayed at the number one chart position and what was on the flip side of each single. And I will let you know what my favorite is out of the two. Alvis's first UK number one single was All Shook Up. This spent seven weeks at the number one chart position and has a flip of That's When Your Heartaches Begin. Again, out of the two, I do prefer side a of all shook up i think it's a great rock and roll song and that's when your heartaches begin such a beautiful ballad so that was alvis presley's first uk number one single spent seven weeks at the number one chart position alvis's second uk number one single was jailhouse rock this spent three weeks at the number one chart position with the flip of treat me nice very difficult choice for me to make. I would have to lean towards the B side of Treat Me Nice. I love the song Jailhouse Rock. A uh, great movie as well. But um, I do prefer side B of Treat Me Nice. So there we have Jailhouse Rock with a flip of Treat Me Nice. Three weeks at the number one chart position. The next number one Alvis had was One Night with a flip of I Got Stung. Again, I prefer the flip side of I Gotta Know. One Night is a great song, but I Gotta Know it's faster. It's a song that I prefer listening to, but again, two great songs. And One Night, as I was saying, spent three weeks at the number one chart position. Alvis's next number one single was A Fall Such As I with a flip of I Need Your Love Tonight. Very difficult decision to make, but uh, for me, it, had to, it would have to go to I Need Your Love Tonight. That is my favorite song from the 50s. So again, A Fall Such As I, I absolutely adore that song. And A Fall Such As I spent five weeks at the UK number one chart position, but I Need Your Love Tonight, faster song, my favourite from the 1950s. It's my mum's favourite from the 50s, so I would lean towards I Need Your Love Tonight. On the flip, it's just promoting Alvis sales. And I'm just going to quickly show you what the... CD singles look like in size. So look, very old school RCA there. Looks like a, a vinyl. So these these are just really great to have. These they were also released on, as you all know, a vinyl box set, which I do not own. I I just got the CD singles. The next number one that Alvis had was his best selling single this far in the United Kingdom, and it is It's Now or Never with a flip of A Mess of Blues. Again, It's Now or Never spent eight weeks at the UK number one chart position, and out of the two, I would lean towards It's Now or Never, such a great power ballad from Alvis, and A Mess of Blues is a great track as well. Uh, well they're very well suited on uh, uh, the main and the flip side, two great songs, but I do prefer It's Now or Never. And again, great image of Alvis here back at Graceland after returning home from the army. Alvis's next number one was Are You Lonesome Tonight with a flip of a gotta know. Are You Lonesome Tonight spent four weeks at the number one chart position for Alvis. And the flip of 
I got to know. Again, for me, it all depends on what sort of mood I'm in as to which, which is my favourite. Are You Lonesome Tonight is such a beautiful ballad. Alvis consistently sang this live in his concerts. and uh, But <sighs> I love I Gotta Know. I think that's a, such a great track as well. So as I'm talking to you now, I'm going to lean towards the flip side of I Gotta Know. But very difficult decision for me to make. Both great songs. But again... I'm going to say I've got a neighbor. but Are You Lonesome Tonight? A beautiful ballad from Alvis. Then Alvis's next number one was Wooden Heart. This spent six weeks at number one, and it's got a flip of Pop It On A String. Do you know what? I'm, again, very controversial here. I'm going to go for the flip side of Pop It On A String. I prefer Pop It On A String because it's more my type of song, and... If I had a choice of which one to listen to out of the two, I would go to Pop It On A String, but I absolutely do love Wooden Heart. And as I was saying, spent six weeks at the UK number one chart position. On the reverse, it's promoting Girl Happy GI Blues. The next number one that Alvis had spent four weeks at the number one chart position, Surrender, with lonely man and that's an easy choice for me it would go to the number one single surrender i absolutely adore this song it's one of my mom's favorites as well and surrender as i was saying spent four weeks at the uk number one chart position lonely man again it's a song i don't tend to listen to a great deal N nice song but very slow and for me it's a song that i tend not to listen to a great deal obviously if it's on a vinyl and a cd and it comes on of course i'll listen to it but uh not a not a personal favorite of mine alvis's next number one single marie's the name his latest flame and this spent four weeks at the number one chart position and it's got a flip of Little Sister. Again, I prefer the A side of his latest flame. Uh, a, a fast song, uh, a, a great pop song. Um, Alvis sings it well. And Little Sister, again, good song. But again, a song that I tend not to listen to a great deal. But um, I prefer side A, his latest flame. Four weeks at the number one chart position. The next one was a double A side of Rockahoola Baby, Can't Help Falling in Love. Spent four weeks at the number one chart position. Out of the two, obviously it has to go to Can't Help Falling in Love. I do like Rockahoola Baby, a fun track. But to me, I would always go for the beautiful Can't Help Falling in Love. You know, such a beautiful song. Alvis sang it at the end of each of his concerts. And um, again, you know, it's just a song that you don't tire of listening to. So that was Blue Hawaii. Spent four weeks at number one chart position with their flip of Rockahoola Baby. Now, in the UK, Rockahoola Baby was considered the A side and Can't Help Falling in Love was considered as the flip side. Um, Alvis's next number one single, Good Luck Charm, this spent five weeks at number one. And on the flip, Anything That's Part of You, again, that would have to go to the, no the number one single, Good Luck Charm. I love that song. Again, it, I love singing it. Um, you can see Alvis is having fun with that song. Anything that's part of you, beautiful ballads. But again, I would have to go for Good Luck Charm, five weeks at the UK number one chart position. The next one is She's Not You, and it spent three weeks at the UK number one chart position with a flip of Just Tell Her Jim Said Hello. 
I can't choose because I absolutely adore both songs. You know, Just Tell Her Jim Said Hello is a go-to song for me. I know every word to that song. I love singing it. But She's Not You, again, gorgeous ballad, gorgeous song. I can't choose out of the two. All depends on what mood I am in. She's Not You, three weeks at the UK number one chart position. The next one was Elvis Presley's only Christmas number one single. Return to Sender. This spent three weeks at the UK number one chart position. I keep on looking down because I've got the information in front of me, so I am sorry about that. I, did, I didn't want to give out wrong information. So Return to Sender, Alphys Presley's only Christmas number one single, spent three weeks at number one, and it has a flip of Where Do You Come From? Um, I'm going to have to say Return to Sender on this, uh, but Where Do You Come From? Again, beautiful song from the movie of the same name. I love that images of Al uh, of Alvis there on the front and um, on the back, exactly the same. Yeah, the, the CD singles are the same. Uh, when they get to the 1970s, the CD single changes to the orange RCA Victor, which I will share with you when I get to it. The next UK number one, you're the Devil in Disguise. This spent a solitary week at number one, believe it or not. Only one week. I, I, I just can't believe that. But, hey, it's a number one. And this has a flip of please don't drag that string around. Easy choice for me. You're the Devil in Disguise. I love this song. Great number one single from Elvis. The flip of please don't drag that string around. Lovely song. You know, enjoy listening to it, but easy choice for me. You're the devil in disguise. The image on the front there is from the movie. It happened at the World's Fair. On the reverse, it's promoting more Alvis releases there. Like you got the movies and then you got gold records and we have something for everybody. And yes, yeah, still the same CD single inside. The next one is Crying in the Chapel. And this spent two weeks at number one. So Elvis Presley's only gospel song to get to number one in the UK singles chart. And that is very difficult to do. Not many artists crossed the spectrum of different charts to get to number one. So Elvis got to number one with this beautiful gospel song. And it spent two weeks at the chart summit. And um, it has a flip of... Um, I believe in the man in the sky. And again, that has to go to the beautiful crying in the chapel. And again, on the reverse, it's just promoting the album, His Hand in Mine. And for me, I was saying recently on my channel, Alvis Gospel is a go-to for me. You know, you know if, you've had, if I've had a bad day at work and I come home and I just want to relax and calm down and kind of, um, de stress or declutter my what's going on in my head, Alvis Gospel. Um, sorry, so that was crying in the chapel two weeks at the summit of number one in the UK singles chart. The next one spent six weeks at number one for Alvis, the window of you with a flip of Mama Light the Roses has to go to the window of you absolutely i adore this song the window of you um it's possibly no it is it's my favorite alvis presley uk number one single by far you know i just i love everything about it my mum would go for side b mama like the roses that I, my mum adores that song um, I, I, it's a beautiful song, Mama Like the Roses. Um, again, beautifully sung by Alvis, but no. For me, The Wonder of You spent six weeks at the number one chart summit in the UK singles chart. Now, Alvis's last UK number one single 
So this single entered the UK singles chart, obviously before Alf is passed. And believe it or not, the single itself wasn't performing that well in the UK singles chart. It was in the lower regions of the top 40. Unfortunately, we lost Alvis and it just shot up to number one. And as you all know, it is way down. And this spent five weeks at the chart summit of number one. And it's got a flip of pledging my love. Now, for me, I love both. But I would, I'm going to have to say way down because it's very, very emotional song for me because of the meanings behind it. Like I, Whenever I listen to Way Down, I think of... I would have loved Alvis to have seen this get to number one in the UK singles chart. I would have loved to have Alvis to have known he had another number one single in him because the wonder of you was many years beforehand and um, Alvis getting back to that number one chart position in the UK singles chart, him passing had to make that happen. And in all honesty, would Alvis have got another number one single in the UK singles chart? You're never going to know if he was still alive. But unfortunately, we lost Alvis in this shot to number one. Um, but sorry, I'm just going to quickly show you the difference in the CD singles. So there you go. Because from the 70s, it was orange RCA Victor with like this sort of outer sleeve. And I just look at that. I love that image of Alvis on the front there as well. It's just. Uh, I, I just I just adore this song. Um you can say I'm quite I'm getting quite difficult speaking about this, but uh but yeah, pledging my love as well. I, I, it's, a, it's such a gorgeous ballad. And the last UK number one single that Alvis has had in the UK singles chart, a little less conversation, Alvis versus JXL. And there's no flip side to this. It's just remixes of the same song. And again, this spent four weeks at the UK number one chart position. Again, I am a purist when it comes to Alvis music. So, but when I saw the advert that this was in with Eric Cantona and I heard the background music, of a little less conversation, I got really emotional. And I thought to myself, that's got to be released. It's got to be re-released as a single. And it did, and it shot to number one, stayed there for four weeks. And as an Alphys fan, I was so proud, so proud that Alphys was back at the top where he belonged in the UK singles chart. A lot of Alvis fans that I have had discussions with have very different feelings on this song because it's not pure Alvis. It is a remixed Alvis song. I understand that. Of course I do. The version from the movie Live a Little, Love a Little is, is superb. But... <laughs> If that would have been released on the advert, it, it just wouldn't have done anything. It, it needed a remix of that song. It, it To me, it fitted that advert. It fitted the Alvis, and it fitted at the right time in the Alvis market. We needed Alvis back at the top of the chart. So a little less conversation, four weeks at the UK number one chart position. Now... Um, for me, do I feel there will ever be another UK number one single by Alvis? I do, actually. I do believe that in time, singles might get re-released again, like uh, for anniversaries or special occasions, and they might get back to number one, but this I believe streaming has decimated the UK charts, and also the worldwide charts. For me, 
people do not stream Elvis. People like myself, the purest, we want to go out there, we want to purchase the product, we want to purchase the vinyl, we want to purchase the um, CD. But streaming has killed the chart. So I think it will be difficult to get Elvis back to the UK number one chart position in the singles chart, I'm saying. In the albums chart, very easy for Elvis to do. I think we all know that of late, you know, whenever RCA releases, especially like, um, let's say, the, like the Royal Philharmonic collections, number ones, not a big fan of them. But, um, and if it's like greatest hits and it's a, an anniversary with extra tracks, you know, you, that, that could get to number one or to, as near to the top charts as possible. But uh, I think it's got another, it's got more number one albums um, in him if RCA get their act together. But singles, I'm not too sure on. Fingers crossed, let's hope so. So in reverse order, before I sign out, a little less conversation. Way down. The Wonder of You. Crying in the Chapel. You're the Devil in Disguise. Return to Sender. She's Not You. Good Luck Charm. Rockahoola Baby with a double A of Can't Help Falling in Love. Marie's the name, his latest flame. Surrender. Wooden Heart. Are you lonesome tonight? Is now or never a fool such as I. One night, jailhouse rock, and finally, all shook up. In the comments below, share what is your go-to Elvis number one single? I mean, obviously, I know I've got subscribers from all around the world, and some singles might not have reached the UK, sorry, the number one chart position, but the UK number one singles that I've just shared with you, what would be your favourite? As I was saying, mine would be The Wonder of You. And can I think of any Elvis songs that did not reach the number one chart position that I believe truly deserved the number one chart position. Do you know what? Plenty. But the ones that I'm going to say off the top of my head, which people might think, oh, you, you, are you being sick? Yes. I Don't cry, Daddy should have got to number one. That, that should have had number one all over it. Um, believe in an American Trilogy, a, a beautiful song. I absolutely love an American Trilogy. That top 10. Um, and I'm going to go for Moody Blue as well. Moody Blue, I believe, should have got to number one. But there's just so many I can just think of off the top of my head. Um, but yeah, you know, there, there's many songs that are like stalled at number two or stalled in the top five. But um, very proud that to this day, Elvis Presley has the most. UK number one singles of any solo artist. So again, before I sign out, the vinyl behind me here on the easel is Elvis Sings. I'm going to be doing an upload of that vinyl after I come off this upload today because I've been playing that vinyl today and I want to share my feelings on it with you all. And um, again, as I was saying, love to you all. Please keep Elvis close to your hearts. Please keep on playing his music. And if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel and have enjoyed this upload, hit that subscribe button. 
Welcome to the 100% Pure Alphys family. If you've got any questions about my channel, please do not hesitate to ask and I will reply to you all as soon as I possibly can. So speak soon, everybody. Bye-bye.